Hi, I just want to uh, describe the Tenmar fume extractor that I'm proposing as a solution for soldering stations that uh, don't have a, a lot of use but just occasional use. Uh, the first thing I notice the unit is uh, very robust, very well made. It's um, it's it's about uh, the face of it that you see the fan is a looks like about a five inch square fan, and it's got a charcoal filter in front of it. Another uh, feature of it is that it has the ability to uh, adjust the tilt, and what I've got it um, tilted to right now is slightly biased. Uh, towards the work surface and I found that that worked out the best. First thing I'm going to do is turn it on. <clears throat> it's uh, it is uh, something that you're going to hear in a lab environment. I wouldn't say it's objectionably loud but uh, you'll definitely notice its uh, presence in the lab. Now what I'm going to do is um, try and create some um, fumes and you'll see that um, at this distance, it's probably about six inches away. Uh, the vortex of the incoming air actually allows some of the fumes to um, pass on the right side, but I would say probably 70% or more of the fumes are captured. Um, obviously, the closer you get it um, to the, the face of this now, 100% are being caught, um, or, or very close to it, are being caught by the fan. One thing I wanted to try was to um, put a barrier um, on the right side. What I notice is the vortex seems to uh, throw some of the fumes off to the right side. And when I put a, a barrier on the right side, it pretty much does uh, capture, uh, keeps everything um, more or less in train. A little bit is going over the top, but pretty much all of it is going uh, in. So anyway, um, I guess what I'm doing is proposing that uh, we use this for occasional soldering applications and uh, also I would recommend that um, there be some sort of um, uh, barrier added to the right side. If you have any questions, give me a call.